these are all California authors. So all of these books. It's very clear. First partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom is an open book and an advocate for women. My sweet husband was raised by a single mom. His mom was Wonder Woman. And every once in a while I'm like, I am not Wonder Woman. <laughs> I cannot hold anymore. And I think that's important that we look at the patterns and socialization. And that she did. She directed Fair Play, a documentary inspired by the best-selling book called Fair Play. It follows three families from around the country on their journeys to find balance at home in real time, real life, no Hollywood here. Yes, I wanted real life. It was filmed during the pandemic, a balancing act in and of itself. All joked because again, the majority of us working on this project were working mothers. Um, and we just, we really joked that we were living and breathing this experience as we were making the film. She says the only silver lining with the pandemic is that I think we finally saw men and women alike, all people saw that it's too much. That text said, I'm surprised you didn't get blueberries. So what exactly is fair play? She says it starts with all time being created equal. She says there is a perception that a man's time is more valuable. My husband's time, even though he's the governor of California, the fifth largest economy in the world, is actually um, as valuable as mine. It should be. But unfortunately, a lot of society doesn't see it that way. The film looks at the need for not 50-50, but perceived fairness. We're not saying, for example, to my husband that he has to do 50% of the domestic work and childcare. We're saying that he has to get us to this more um, fair, Perce perception of fairness. She says it's making the invisible care work historically held by women visible. So some of the benefits to men are they're happier, they're healthier, they're less dependent on antidepressants and other prescription meds. They, they live longer, they have better sex lives. For women, I mean, hello. Like when your partner is doing what you perceive as a fair share uh, of work at home, you're happier, you're less anxious, you're less depressed, you're less stressed. We're probably going to find that you will live longer. And if you need specifics, she has them. So the film looks at all of the benefits to men individually, to women individually, and to children when men do at least 50 minutes or 40 percent of the child care and domestic work at home. She says she hopes it inspires a cultural shift towards gender equity at home. Sometimes I think you need enough of sort of the cultural change work to get policy through. Um, and so that's really what I think this film is about. And speaking of those in government. Gavin really, really loved the film. He, he, he thinks he does 70%. I think I do 70%. She says he actually helped her change the opening to the documentary when it didn't quite click with him. She realized she needed to draw men in quicker. Because he was like, I don't get it, right? I, what, what, what is this movie about? You have, to, you have to pull the audience in. I'm like, OK, wannabe filmmaker, gotcha. So she started the documentary with men. How much I do the household tasks. Talking about it, the perceived percentage of work they did at home, and she says that did the trick. And then so I, so we did, and I and I love that because uh, it, it helped. It, it gave it the film sort of real clarity, and uh, I think it draws you in. This is just so interesting. The documentary will be released at the beginning of July. Juliet Goodrich, KPIX Five. These are all California authors.